Have you ever dreamed of owning a house at no cost? Now, doesn't that sound like a fantasy? But hold on to your hats, folks, because this is not a fairy tale. In the world we live in today, where the bricks and mortar of a home often come with a hefty price tag, owning a house is not just a matter of pride, but a significant financial commitment. It's a dream that turns into a burden for many. But what if I told you there's a way to own a house without the financial strain? Yes, you heard right. We're about to embark on a journey exploring six intriguing methods of owning a house at no cost. From government programs to inheritance, from property exchanges to adverse possession, and even winning a house in contests or bartering for one. It's all possible. So stick around here at the Wallet Kit to find out how you can become a homeowner without emptying your pockets. First, let's talk about the government programs or grants that can help you achieve this dream. Now, you might be wondering, how can the government help me to buy a house? Well, I'll tell you. The government has a variety of programs designed to assist people in becoming homeowners. These programs provide grants, or free money, that you can use towards purchasing a house. Yes, you heard it right, free money. There are several types of government programs available. Some grants are specifically for first-time homebuyers. Others are for people who are willing to buy a home in a rural area. There are also programs for veterans and for people who are recovering from natural disasters. So, how do you become eligible for these grants? The requirements vary from program to program. Generally, you need to meet certain income and credit score requirements. Some programs require you to attend a home buyer education course. Others may require you to live in the home for a certain period of time. Applying for these grants also varies by program. Some require you to apply directly through the government, while others require you to apply through a lender. It's important to do your research and understand the specific requirements for each program. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. These programs are real, and they have helped many people to become homeowners. But remember, just like with any financial decision, it's important to do your homework. Understand the terms and conditions of the grant and make sure it's the right choice for you. Don't let the cost of a house deter you from your dream of homeownership. With the help of government grants, buying a house at no cost is not just a pipe dream. It's a reality for many people, and it could be for you too. Getting a house through government grants isn't a dream anymore, it's a possibility. Inheritance is another way of acquiring a house at no cost. Now, this often involves a will or a trust where a family member or loved one has left you a property. It's essentially like winning a game of Monopoly but with real bricks and mortar. On the upside, you get a house without having to save for a down payment or apply for a mortgage. Plus, there's the added bonus of owning a piece of your family history. On the flip side, there can be emotional strings attached, not to mention potential tax implications or maintenance costs that come with owning a property. Inheritance isn't something you can plan for or count on, but it can be a windfall if it happens. Just remember, if you do inherit a property, seek legal and financial advice to understand all the implications. Inheritance may be a game of chance, but it's one that can land you a house. Have you ever thought of trading your skills for a house? Picture this. World where your abilities, your expertise, your craft could be your key to homeownership. That's right. Property exchange for services is a real and viable way to acquire a house without spending a dime. In a nutshell, you're trading your services or skills for a house. It's a barter system that dates back to antiquity, but with a modern twist. So, if you're a master carpenter, a skilled plumber, or an experienced landscaper, you could potentially exchange your services for a house. The possibilities are as varied as the skills we possess. Let's delve into a couple of success stories. Once upon a time, there was a talented web designer who traded his digital prowess for a charming little cottage. He revamped a company's online presence and in return, received a house. No mortgage, no rent, just a direct exchange of services for property. In another instance, a professional chef cooked up a storm for a year in a restaurant and guess what? He was rewarded with a cozy townhouse. His culinary magic was his ticket to a no-cost house. Negotiating these deals require a clear understanding of the value of your services and the house in question. It's essential to have a legally binding agreement that details the specifics of the trade. This is not a handshake deal. It's a significant exchange that requires legal oversight. So, how do you start? Begin by assessing your skills, determine their market value, and then look for opportunities. It might be a homeowner who's struggling to sell their property or a business owner in need of your expertise. It's a creative, out-of-the-box approach that requires a bit of legwork, but the payoff could be a house you call your own. 
Remember, the world is full of opportunities. Your unique skills can be the golden ticket in this property exchange adventure. Skills can be your ticket to a no-cost house. Adverse possession sounds adverse, but it can be advantageous. Yes, you heard that right. Adverse possession. It's one of those legal terms that sounds intimidating, but in reality, it's just a fancy way of saying, if you squat long enough, you might just get the castle. But before I start thinking about moving into that abandoned mansion down the road, let's dive a little deeper, shall we? Adverse possession is a principle of real estate law where someone who possesses someone else's land for an extended period may be able to claim legal title to that land. Sounds simple, right? Well, not so fast. To succeed at adverse possession, one must meet a handful of criteria. The possession must be hostile, actual, open and notorious, exclusive and continuous for a certain period, often around 20 years. Hostile doesn't mean you're out there with a pitchfork defending your turf. Instead, it simply refers to the fact that your possession is against the right of the real owner and without their consent. Actual means you are physically present and treating the land as your own. Open and notorious means your possession is obvious to anyone who bothers to look. Exclusive means it's you and only you who is possessing the land. And continuous means you've been doing all of this for a set period, usually measured in years or decades. So how do you go about it? Well, it's not as simple as moving in and changing the locks. You'll need to live there openly, improve the property, pay property taxes, and perhaps even fend off any challenges from the rightful owner. And you'll need to do this not for a month or a year, but for years on end. Adverse possession isn't a quick and easy way to grab free real estate. It's a long game, one that requires patience, persistence, and a little bit of audacity. But for those who can stick it out, the rewards can be remarkable. Adverse possession, a house can become yours, but remember, it's not for the faint-hearted. If you're feeling lucky, why not try winning a house in contests or sweepstakes? Now, this may sound like a fairy tale, but there are indeed instances where people have become homeowners without so much as spending a dime. Sweepstakes and contests are one such avenue. Let's first address the elephant in the room, entering these contests. It's rather simple really, contests or sweepstakes are often run by companies looking to promote their brand or a particular product. They'll ask you to fill out a form, answer a question or maybe even create something unique. Some contests might require you to purchase a product but many others are free to enter. Now, on to the pros and cons. The obvious advantage is the potential to win a house for little to no investment. And it's not just any house we're talking about. Some of these prizes are luxury homes, fully furnished, and ready to move in. Imagine waking up one day in your own dream house without having gone through the usual hassle of house hunting, negotiating and financing. But as with any gamble, there are downsides. The chances of winning are, realistically, quite slim. You're competing against potentially hundreds of thousands if not millions of entries. And if you do win, there could be a hefty tax bill waiting for you. Yes, even winning a house isn't entirely free. But here's the thing. No matter how slim the odds, someone somewhere is going to win that house. It could be the person who enters once on a whim or the one who enters every single day. The key is to stay optimistic, realistic, and consistent. So if you're feeling adventurous, why not give it a shot? Start by researching reputable contests and sweepstakes. Read the terms and conditions carefully, and who knows, you might just get lucky. Winning a house might seem like a long shot, but remember, someone has to win. Last but not least, let's discuss trading or bartering for a house. It's not just for the history books or an episode of a reality TV show. Trading or bartering is an age-old practice that still holds value today. It's all about swapping goods or services without the exchange of money. So how can you barter for a house? Well, you could offer a valuable item you own, perhaps a luxury car or a piece of artwork. Maybe you have a skill or service to offer like carpentry or architectural design. The key is finding someone who needs what you have and is willing to trade their house for it. But remember, just like any property transaction, legalities are involved. It's crucial to get all agreements in writing and consult with a real estate attorney to ensure everything is legally sound. Trading or bartering for a house might seem old fashioned, but it can be a modern way to a no cost house. So there you have it, six ways to own a house at no cost. Firstly, we explored government programs or grants. These initiatives, often overlooked, can be a real game changer, opening doors to home ownership without emptying your pockets. Then we delved into inheritance. A little luck in the family tree department can land you a home, no strings attached. 
Thirdly, we looked at property exchange for services. A fair trade of skills for shelter, it's as simple and as old as bartering itself. Adverse possession was our fourth stop. It's a bit of a long shot, but hey, who doesn't love a good underdog story? Next up was winning a house in contests or sweepstakes. It might sound like a fairy tale, but with a sprinkle of luck, it can become reality. Lastly, we discussed trading or bartering for a house. It's proof that a good trade can lead to a great home. Dreaming of a no-cost house isn't so far-fetched anymore, is it?